Hello guys, good evening. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay, perfect. All right. So uh I know that it's raining in some parts of El Salvador, if not in the whole country. And probably some of your classmates are not going to connect today because of that, because of the rain. Because, you know, it's raining a lot. <clears throat> but thank you very much that you are here. I really don't know if it's raining where you live. If it is not, okay, that's perfect. But if it is, thank you very much for putting a little bit of effort uh, and being here. <clears throat> well, uh, I told you guys yesterday that I was going to send you a list of verbs, but honestly, I forgot it after the class. I forgot it, so that's the reason why I didn't send it. Uh, so today we're going to see a little bit of grammar, which is uh, something that you already know. It's not difficult, and when I say grammar, it's because that's the way we call it, even though it's not that difficult. It's something that you guys already know, and it's just going to be, you know, uh, let's say like a, less, like a, a reminder for you to, to actually remember <clears throat> what we are going to, well, what you saw already. Uh, well, I really don't know if the others are going to connect today. Because as I said, I know that it's raining in some part of El Salvador, if not in the whole country. But thank you very much for you guys being here. And, well, I don't know if the others can hear me. Can you hear me okay, Arabian? Very well, teacher. Okay, good. Thank you. How do you say... Uh... Fuerte, loud, right? Loud, but it depends. It depends on what situation you're talking about. Clear and loud, you want to say? Yeah, that expression. Uh -huh. I have heard some Americans telling that that sentence. Yeah, clear, clear, and loud. clear and loud. Yeah. Okay, that's good. All right. Uh, what about you, Noemi? Can you hear me okay? <clears throat> well, I don't know if she's here or not. Well. I think she's not though. Well, thank you very much, guys. The ones that just connected, thank you for being here. Uh, well, today uh, we will try to start with what we have for today. Because remember, we just have one hour, and well, today is uh, our third week, and next week is going to be our last week. And uh, as I said yesterday, I will start you know, like um, giving you some slangs from starting from next week. And uh, we're going to try to be more practical classes. Uh, that means that we're going to have more practices and things like that due to the fact that it's going to be our last week. So um, let me just start with what we have for today. Today, we're going to see, guys, something called modifiers. And when we say it about modifiers, we can also talk about uh, adjectives. Most of the time, adjectives are going to be modifiers <clears throat> that we are going to use in English. As the name it says, or the topic it says by itself, modifiers. What does come to your mind when you listen to the word modifier? What do you think a modifier is? Uh, as its name says, it's a word or a group of words that uh, give us information about the subject. About the uh, subject? Uh -huh, okay. And obviously modify the, the sentence. Yeah, that's pretty much as the name says or stands by itself. 
modifier, it's obviously something that is going to modify. Now, today, uh, talking about modifiers, we are going to focus a little bit on uh, adjectives. Do you know what an adjective is? Or what does it come, or what does come to your mind when you listen to adjective? What do you think that is? Uh, are words that help us to identify a specific characteristics of the subject. Excellent. A specific characteristics or description, let's say description about the subject or, you know, like uh, something that is going to give us extra information or is going to describe something uh, about a noun or about a subject. That is pretty much what, what we have. Then, um, let's see. <clears throat> so let me just start sharing my screen. God, it's... Like, I don't know if that happens the same to you, but in my family, everyone is sick. Like everyone has like cold, cough, or flu. And it's like everyone around me, it's like oh, oh, every single day. So I started to feel that today, like I will probably get sick or something. Well, in my family, it's happened uh, something uh, like the same. Mm -hmm. because they're falling one by one. Yeah, I know. The same happens in here. It's like, first of all, my mother, then it goes my father, then it goes one of my brothers, and so on and so on, until everyone it's already sick. And it's like, oh, my God, I really don't know. Sometimes people are thinking like, oh, that's a secondary reaction from from some vaccines that we had before. That's what people think. But I don't want to, you know, to give expectations regarding to that. You know, everyone has different opinions regarding to that. But I mean, it's it could be. I'm not saying that that's not possible. It could. But we really don't know. That's that's just an opinion. Teacher, it also can be uh, the result of the of these drastic changes of the climate, because, right. for example, at, uh, in the afternoons we used to have a a very very hot a, a warm or hot weather. I don't know how to say it. Yeah, warm warm weather and at night it it, it it used to be cold because you for example here in my house uh, every night it has been raining oh wow that's good yes yeah, for example right now it's raining and the weather is getting cold and cold cold and cold and and I think the drastic changes of the weather may cause the the flus that all our families are. Yeah, having. it's yeah, it's like the viruses are increasing due to the climate changes that we're having. Like for example, I know that in some parts of El Salvador, like like let's say San Miguel, if you have ever been in San Miguel, if you have not, well. You really don't know, but in San Miguel, it's like really, really hot. Like, oh my God, I lived there for two months and believe me, that was horrible. The worst days of my life. Like I was crying, like for real, every single day. And I was thinking like, oh, I remember my house. Like, oh, the weather is not like that. And I was like, oh, my God. But, you know, like in some parts of El Salvador, as Ivan was saying, like, for example, in the afternoon, it's a little cold or it's a warm weather. And then at night, it gets cold. Yeah, but now, due to those changes, probably some areas that used to be cold now are getting are getting hot, like it's the, the, the climate is changing. And that is obviously affecting and increasing some of us to get sick because we are not used to that weather. Now, uh, as I was saying before today, we're going to talk about placement of adjectives and those adjectives being used as 
as you know, as modifiers. Now, uh, as I was saying before, today is our 12th class, and we only have one more week, and that's going to be over. Uh, but, well, it is what it is, right? So we have to keep on moving. Now, uh, we're going to go by the placement of some adjectives. I'm pretty sure that some of you already know uh, the placement of the adjectives. It's just going to be a little review, and then we're... Uh, then we're going to have some exercises. Uh, the adjectives are going to be focused or um, in this case, they are going to be like modifiers, used as modifiers, because as we said before, a modifier is something that obviously modifies something uh, or in this case, the subject or a noun. So let's get started. And we're going to have this, which is a, just a small explanation or about what an adjective is. Now, let's see. Uh, I would like to listen to you, Philomena, if you're there. Philomena, are you there? Yes, good evening. Good evening. What Can... did you say? Sorry. I just want you to help me reading the little explanation that we're having here. Oh, okay. What is, what is an adjective? An um, adjective is a word you use to describe a person, place, or thing. An adjective modifies nouns and pronouns. And this is the key word, modified. As we say here, an adjective modifies. Modified. Okay, thank you. So um, okay. this is the part that we're going to be focusing on today modifiers so as we as we can see here a noun is something that modifies a noun or pronouns or by defect a subject now we have some examples in here sonia can you please do me a favor and read them all or read them both okay good evening good evening example it was the great cat Mm -hmm. I like I like black coffee. I like black coffee. Now, as we can see here, what in number one, for example, uh, what is the noun? What is the subject? Or what is the adjective modifying? I think it is a, a noun. Can be called a cat. Cat. Okay. And the. Adjective, gray. Gray, okay, good. Do the other ones agree with what she said? <clears throat> Do you guys agree? I think gray yeah. is modifying the word cat. Mm -hmm. Because, for example, you can have six cats, but just mm -hmm. one of them is gray. Okay, yeah, that's good. Now, <clears throat> something that I want you to understand is that <clears throat> the modifiers... In this case, are words that will give us extra information or that will help us to, you know, to have more details about the thing or the person or the noun that we are describing. Now, in this case, if I take the adjective out of the sentence, will the sentence still make sense? What do you guys think? It feels incomplete, but I think it makes sense. Now you're understanding. Now you're saying make instead of how. That's good. <laughs> Happy to hear that. Okay. It feels incomplete, as he said, and that's right. Because if I say it was the cat, but it was the cat. Okay, it was the cat. Okay, we, com we understand. Like in English, it's understandable. But it does not have a complete thought. What does it mean? That we need to have a modifier for what? Or what's the reason? That, what, or why do we need a modifier? In this case, we need a modifier to give more a specific information. Because now if we add the modifier or the adjective gray, we're saying that probably I have five cats and the one 
that I'm talking specifically, specifically, I'm sorry, or I'm talking about is which one? The gray one. So that gives us more information about that. So uh, that's something, guys, that you already know. So we're not going to stop too much on that. And we're going to move on to some examples. Now, uh, here, as you can see, we have some examples with the verb to be, where the adjectives or modifiers are really, really important. Because if we don't use it, at least for the bad, for the verb to be, the sentence will not make sense at all. For example, if I say John is, I really, really need the adjective or modifier in this case. Because if I don't use one, John is, but John is what? So I really need something in this case, either an adjective or a modifier, well, because both of them have the same um you know, the same use. Now, if we have the same thing, uh, but in negative, John is not John. So we really need the adjectives when all, every single time when we're using the verb to be. That is something that we need to know. Now, how do I change that and create a sentence using a modifier or an adjective? If I have the verb to be, that's really easy. It's something that you already know. For example, he is happy. Is he happy? Simple as that. How do I answer? Yes, he is. No, he isn't. Or no, he is not. We already know that. Sorry, guys. It's like I started to feel in the cough coming in. All right. Now, um, let's see, Arturo. I want to listen to you saying this whole thing, please. Um, I am tired. Say this one again. Tired. Tired. You are nervous. 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 No, nervous. Nervous. Mm -hmm. He is. He is tall. Mm -hmm. She is happy. Mm -hmm. It is round. It is round. Thank you very much. Now, can I have Daisy for the next part? We are cold. We are cold. You are hot. Okay. They are angry. Oh, oh say this one again. They are angry. 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 They angry. Oh. Angry. Okay. Uh, this expression, guys, when we say you are hot, we can use it in different scenarios. What does it mean? That if I say you are hot, it means... And in, in this case, or in this situation, it's like you're feeling a little hot, which means that the heat is reaching you. But we can have another context in uh, when you say, oh, you're hot. It's because you're saying that that person is handsome some way. Okay. That's another expression that Americans use to refer to someone who is really handsome or really beautiful in the case of girls or in the case of boys. Okay, so just for you to have an idea, because sometimes probably in movies or at movies, most of the time, if you watch movies in English, you have probably heard that expression like, oh, you're so hot. When, you, when they say something like that, they are not referring to the weather. They are referring to the beauty of the person, okay? Good. Now, uh, let's move on. <clears throat> and here we have what we came from. It's very important that we know that adjectives or modifiers, they have an order. What does it mean? That you cannot put them or add them wherever you want. No, in grammar or in speaking, they have an order and you have to respect that order in order for you to sound or to speak the right, uh, the English in the right way. Now, the first one, it's going to be opinion. Every single time that you have an adjective of opinion, you have to give it, uh, you have to give it uh, like the first place. That's the first place. Now, let me have Jenny reading the 
adjectives of opinion. Okay, opinion. Amazing, fantastic, wonderful, awful. 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 Awful, like O, like O, like the letter O, awful. Awful. Exactly like that. Thank you very much. Now, we give the number two to the adjectives of size, length, height. And now I need Janira's uh, help, please. <clears throat> Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Um, size, length, height. Um, small, big, tall, short, long, huge. Huge. Huge? Huge. That's the last one. Okay. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Now, let's go with, uh, let's see, Patricia, I need you to help me with number three, which are physical quality. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Thin, thin, smooth, sharp, hard, soft. Okay, this one is thick. 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 Okay, this is thin. Okay. This is smooth. Smooth. This is sharp, hard, and soft. 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 soft like, like the letter F, the sound of the letter F, and then the sound of the letter T. Soft. Soft. Yeah, it was uh, way better. Thank you. Okay. Now, let's go with... Uh, Andrea, Michelle, are you here? Because I just see you connected most of the time, but you never say anything, so I really don't know if you're here or not. Well, okay, so Javier, are you here? Yes, teacher. Okay, Javier, if you wouldn't mind helping me out with number four. Okay. Jones. Ancient, old, teenage, mature. 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 Okay. So we have in number four the adjectives of age. John, ancient, old, teenage, and mature. And now we have number five, which are adjectives of shape. And I will need, let's see, Wilbur's help. Wilver. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, what number? Number five. Oh. Uh, shape. Square, round, circular, rectangular. Rectangular. Okay. Good. Now we're gonna go with uh, number six, which is colors, and uh, and this one I will need uh, Ricardo. The color white, yellow, red, pink, black, and green. Thank you very much. Let's go with origin, Maritza. Maritza, let's go with origin. Me, teacher Noemi. Noemi, go ahead, Noemi. Thank you. Origin, Spanish, British, English, French. French, excellent. And then we go with material. Let's go with you, Arabin, if you wouldn't mind helping me out with number eight. Okay, material, wooden, plastic, metal. Cotton, gold. Gold, thank you very much. And we go with the last one, which is purpose. And I will need, let's see, uh, Jenny, once again, why not? Okay. Purpose. Cooking, cleaning, sewing. Sewing. 
sewing, sewing. washing. Okay, good. Is there something, guys, related to this order that we have that you have not understood? So, in other Teacher, words, yeah, go ahead. Sorry. Teacher, why purpose you need to use ING cooking, cleaning, sewing, washing? What is the rules in this case? Oh, that's that's just the purpose. It's it's just an adjective. It doesn't really mean that. Remember that some ing words are not really because we know most of the time we get confused with those because we think that if we say cooking, we're talking about like a gerund, or we think that we're talking about present continuous, and sometimes we get confused with that. When we say purpose, is because, uh, for example, we're describing. Let's say that I tell you something like, my mom is cooking. My mom is cooking. What did I say before? If we use the verb to be, it's always necessary an adjective. Verb to be, and I said, my mom is. So I need an adjective, and in this case, cooking is acting as an adjective or modifier. Why? It's giving you more information about what or who? My mother. So even though it looks like it's a gerund because it has an ing form, in this case, in grammar, this ing word is not being used as a gerund or um, present continuous. You know what I mean? Yeah, teacher. In some time, I was listening, for example, when you say, I need to improve my skill. Listen, uh, writing. So in this case, you, you don't talk about the, the I am listening the music in this moment. You are not uh, doing do that. So is the same is the same thing in this case. Oh uh, wow! Well, no, I really I got a little lost on the first part you said. Can you repeat that again? Okay, teacher, slow. So sometimes I was listening. For example, the people said me, uh, "You need to improve your skill." For example, listening. So no say me, no said me listen, uh, said me listening. So in this case, I in in the moment I don't I don't understand. So in this case, it's similar because you you don't you don't you don't you don't cook. It. We are we are we are not cooking. So you need to in purpose you need to say cooking, cleaning, sewing, and washing. Teacher, I cannot yeah, hear you. Phone. Oh, sorry. I, I was on mute. I'm sorry. That's my bad. That's my, my, uh, can you hear me now? Yeah, I think you can hear me now. So what I was saying, like, uh, just let me put the, the things in so, order. So what you, oh, I really don't know what happened. It... Uh, confusing this, in this, this case. Okay, so I think that um, we're listening like a little bit of internet connection. It's going bad. I can sound like, I can listen to my own voice. They're like echoing, I don't know. Oh, yeah, I don't know what. Can you please, guys, turn off? I don't know if that has something to do with that or. Try to uh, off your mic. Teacher, when, you, when you're speaking, uh, we, we can hear two voices. Yeah, it, I'm listening the same thing. It's like someone has 
Oh, now it's it's. Oh, I guess there's what... another micro on teacher. Yeah, that and maybe they have me on here. Because... Yeah, that's what I think. Yeah, and that's why it sounded like a little echoing, like double. So I don't know if Ricardo is still here or he was having a little problem with the internet connection. But regarding to his question, I guess that he was trying to understand when people, when someone told him, you need to improve your listening and your speaking. When they tell you listening and speaking, uh, that's not really a purpose, um, Ricardo. That's not what we're talking about. That's not an adjective. Because there, when they tell you, you have to improve your listening and speaking. That's uh, that's something that we call in grammar a gerund, playing another part of grammar completely different to what we're having today. So uh, you don't really have to get confused on this part here, and you will understand it a little bit better in the next examples that we are going to have. Now, regarding to this chart that we have here, Remember that this is the order that you have to give to the adjectives or modifier. And this order, it's not changeable. So you cannot change it. That's the order that you have to follow either when you speak or when you write something. Now, let's have this example. And I need you to put all the adjectives in the correct order. Write it down on your paper, write it down on your phone, write it down on your notebook, whatever you're doing, and then give me the answer. I will give you one or two minutes to do that. Remember, that's what we saw before. I asked you, do you have any questions? You didn't say anything. So I thought that was clear. So let's put this in order and then you let me know. If you have any questions, I will so you can let me know. It's not necessary for you to send anything to the, you know, to the WhatsApp group on, on, on the chat. Uh, it's something that I will ask you here. It's not necessary, but if you can write it down to put the words in order, that will be fantastic. Teacher, I guess, I think it's tall, young, black, American player. Can you please write it down on the on this meeting chat? Uh, okay. Teacher, I yeah. agree. I agree. At Tall John Black American player. Okay, write it down, please, in the chat. In the chat here on the on the call. Write it down and uh and then we will see the right answer. Thank you, Daisy. Thank you, Arribing. What about the others? Remember, it's not necessary to write it on the WhatsApp group. Oh, I see someone typing on the WhatsApp group. Okay, but that's okay. I told John Blanc, please. Already, I see three opinions already and one that we have on the WhatsApp chat. So we have four different opinions. What about the others? We are 15 people in here. It's not possible that some of, only some of you are always participating and the others do not. So remember that we are taking every single detail into consideration for you. I see Philomena's already in here. Arturo, Javier, okay. Jenny, okay, thank you. Well, now let's find that out. What is the right answer? This is the right answer. A tall 
John Black American player. And let's try to find that out. And let's see why. First of all, what type of adjective is tall? What type of adjective is this one? Is it number size? Size. Let's see that. If we go with size, correct. Number two, we see small, big, tall, short, long, huge. So it makes reference to size, length, or height, which is number two. Now, if we go to the next one, John, what's that one? What type of adjective is that one? Age. Age, okay, age. If we go with black. Color. Color. And then if we go to size, what's the category there? H is eight. in number four. So we, we know that after, right after the size, it goes age. And now right after age, it goes color. So it then, American, what type of that? What type of adjective is that one? Origin. 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 And now origin, what's the number of origin? Number seven. seven. So as you can see, we have an order and we always have to respect that order to sound or to, uh, you know, to speak English in the correct way. Now, from the information that I just said, is there any questions so far? Not at all. Not at all? Okay. Now, let's see what else we have. I'm sorry. In grammar, to find out a, a modifier, we can ask three questions. Which one? What kind? Or how many? For example, if I say it was a great cat, which cat? Which was a cat? ¿Cuál fue el gato? The great one. So automatically we get the answer. Estas preguntas nos van a dar la respuesta a to identify, as it says here, questions to identify an adjective. Now we have another example. I like black coffee. What kind of coffee do I like? What kind? Black coffee. So automatically, these three questions are going to help you out to find out either a modifier in this case or an adjective. Are we clear? Yes. In my case, yes. Alrighty. Now, is there any questions so far? Because if there is no questions, we are going to go directly to the exercises. Well, wow. so silence is more than a thousand words, so I'm going to say or take that as I understood. Let's move in here. And this is the first one that we are going to have. Let me just share it with you. So this is the first one. As it says here on the letters in red, be creative and find out the best answer possible. Be creative, please. And as it says on the instructions above, fill in the blanks with a suitable modifier. Okay? Be creative. Now, we're going to have another one. And this is just for you to put the things in the right order. This is easier. All right, so we're going to be working on these two. Let me go ahead and create the groups. I will need you all guys, please be participating. I don't want you to be there just like, you know, like, oh, I'm, I'm here, but I'm not saying anything, no. I want you all to talk. That's the reason why we do this. Now, please go ahead and join your room. So I will be checking you all. 
Okay. I I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Probably they they will share it there, Francisco. Don't worry about it. Teaming, I don't know what's the meaning. Teaming. His head is always teaming with. Yeah. Intelligent. Or smart. Uh, the person has had many new ideas. Is teaming. What's the meaning, please? Uh, the person is had many new ideas. Is teaming. His head is always teaming. I don't listen. So like in Spanish will be something like repleto. Mm -hmm. uh, repleto de ideas. Es una persona repleta de nuevas ideas. John is a very bad create person. Create. For me, is create. <laughs> Sorry, teacher. I can't take a screen you can't i can't take a screen they you can't or you couldn't i couldn't oh you couldn't okay now let me let me ask on the group if someone let me ask the others so they can probably send on the whatsapp group and you can start working on that just give me one second Extremely, extremely in peace could be using your idea. Yeah, and was extremely. Um, but but we have to use a modifier in this case in peace. I don't think it's a modifier. She was extremely calm. Maybe estaba totalmente en calma. When the Come. finger was pointed at Come. him, uh, but this is no modifier. Uh huh. Well, we we have to find a modifier. Well, just to to keep moving to the next. <laughs> yes. To to number three, we could say the the one that we say that we say at the beginning. He was extremely nervous when the finger was pointed at him. Yes. Yeah. The neighbor's house was very. Sorry, very repeat it. John is a very. Okay, guys. Someone sorry. already. Sorry. Some, someone already sent the screenshots on the okay, WhatsApp group. A ver si ahora sí quieren hablar. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you have the screenshots on the WhatsApp group, so you can start sharing or speaking, whatever. Okay. Sorry, teacher. Yeah, I have teacher. A question. What's your question? Uh, we have to use all the the word. For example, bricky be created. Be created. And we use all the the two words be and create. Or only or I or I can use only one. What do you mean by be created? Mm, 
ser creativo. Ajá. Uh, when, oh, I mean, oh, uh, I, I, or I'm, I'm fire, fire. For what? I'm sorry. The number two. For number two, the innocent man was extremely. No, 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 no. No. It is the 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 word that you put in red. Oh, the one that says be creative and find out. Yeah, I need to use all the words. I don't understand. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I have I have to use all the words. Be create. Be yes. creative. Uh, In the sentence. Oh, I mean, no, 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 no. Uh, I no. I think that you got confused. Uh, yeah. no, I mean, what or is, is or is or is a word by word? No, what is in red are not the answers. Those are not the answers. Ah, okay. No, that's just an extra instruction for you, which oh. that you have to be created to yeah, find. Yeah. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. 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 Yeah. Already. The first sentences. Uh, yeah, number six. She she's mine. mine. Uh, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. She's mine in her sleep. As if she were having a good, good dream. Good dream. Happy dream. A sweet happy dream. A sweet dream. <laughs> yes. Well, like good a answer. song. <laughs> okay, number seven. Uh -huh. uh, McDonald's hamburgers are thoughtful, not thought. I don't know. Thug out. Thug out. The word. Throughout. Throughout. Throughout the world. Throughout uh -huh. is like por todo el mundo, a través del mundo. I don't know. A través. <laughs> yeah. And it's not, it's not true. It's through, like Z. Throughout. Throughout, throughout the world. So are very famous throughout the world. World or world? World. world. Okay. So it could be famous. I don't know, guys. What do you think? Think or think? What do you think? Okay. Arriving. Hey, What's going on today? Famous. Famous. I have a lot of. The innocent man nervous. was nervous. 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 Neither nervous, neither nervous, nervous, nervous. 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 The innocent man was extremely nervous. Nervous. It's like it's it's not like a strong O, Alejandro. It's like O U nervous. Okay. nervous. Nervous like that. Nervous. Like that, nervous. excellent. Yeah, like that. Nervous. Yeah, good. Is is the is both at the same time, right? Yeah, both at the same time. Nervous. nervous. Okay. Uh, extremely nervous. 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 When the finger was. Um, at him. Okay. The neighborhood. House was very was very everybody high. Francisco, Filomena, Daisy. It looks like Alejandro is having a like uh he's talking by himself. Todo el rato estuvieron callados y estuve preguntando y me quedo callado también ahora. That's not fair. <laughs> Francisco no speak English eh, with the other person. I'll me molesta try. que cuando hablo siempre me quedo desnudo, pero bueno, no, no digo nada. No, no, no. What do you think about it? Number three. Three. Many. Several, several. Many or several. 
Mm. What's the meaning of fear? Fear. Where is that? Eh, ah, yeah. Yes. Abeto. Bye. Mm -mm -mm. Many. Many or Bill. Bill, maybe. Hello. I agree, I agree with the B. We with wish. I agree with the big big, big? Bigger trees. Big big. big. Mm -hmm. Okay, you the next one. You found out what was fear? Oh, where is fear? I, I didn't, didn't get. Oh, uh, there, fur, <laughs> fur <laughs> trees, <laughs> fur trees, that... those, like pinos, I'm sorry. Ah, vetos, ajá. Yeah. Okay, number six. She smiled in her sleep, in her sleep, if she were happy. But I don't know. Reoir, oir de, esquivar, like, I don't know. Always well, <laughs> younger generation tends to adapt a Western outlook, outlook? On life. On life. And soon, oh, I'm lost. Generations tend to adapt a Western Western outlook. Outlook is like no, this is outfit. Outlook. Okay, let me check what outlook is. Uh, 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 panorama. Panorama. Old. Outlook. Panorama. Yeah, panorama. Panorama or perspective. Well, uh, what were you? Como un panorama occidental en la vida. I don't know. No. Western you know, is occidental, right? Yep. Como europeo. Like um, European. But, but, but the adjective could be um perspectivas occidentales de la vida uh -huh. <laughs> and Sean... Sean it's like evitar o rechazar uh, y rechazan eh. different views new ne new views what different views Different mm. view or but we have to use different. an an adjective.
did you guys finish or at least did you try to do something? Did you work on that? Well, it looks like I'm talking to myself. Either you're not listening to me or I'm talking to myself. I can. can listen. All right. So, uh, so uh, did you guys work on something? Did you try to do something with these exercises? Were they difficult? Yes, we teacher, tried. we... Yeah. We did our best. Okay, let's see. If I have, uh, and I would like to listen to different opinions because we have three groups. Let's see. On um, for number one, John is very. Let's see for group number one, or let's see Jenny in your group. What did you guys think about this? John is very. Is a very smart person. Smart person. What about another group? For example, uh, let's see, uh, Janira, what do you think? Oh, yeah, bless you. Creative. Creative, okay. Creative, creative. What about, uh, let's see, um, Daisy. Hmm? What about you, Daisy? It's the same. Creative. 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 Okay. Well, even though, um, well, that's okay. So the innocent man was extremely. Nervous. Nervous. I'm sorry, what? Number two, nervous. 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 No, nervous. nervous. Okay, nervous. 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 Okay. nervous. Nervous was extremely nervous when the finger was pointed at him. Okay. I feel that the majority of you agreed on the same, like on the same word, let's say, or modifier. What about number three? The neighbor's house was very oh. Empty. It was very awful. what? Empty. It's stinky. Awful. 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 It's stinky. Stinky. Okay. And why do you say it, Ivy? Mean? Well, I, I think it's empty. Messy. Messy. Empty. You see, uh, that's that's the good part about modifiers <laughs> that all of them fit in the same sentence. Why? If we say the neighbor's house was very stinky. That's because it was stinky. So stinky como apestoso. Exactly, like apestoso. Yes. So it, it was very stinky. Everybody had gone out. Now, if we say uh, the neighbor's house was very empty, yeah, we can say that because everybody had gone out. It still makes sense. Then someone else said, well, awful. awful. Mm, well, that's, yeah, we can, yeah, we can use that due to the fact that everyone, ha everybody had gone out. Yeah, we yes. can say so. Now, and the last one that we're going to do now, the driveway to the mansion is aligned by. Huge. Tall. 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 Muggy. Muggy. You. What? Told. Funny. Funny. Oh, okay. Uh, Told. Funny. Okay. What's the, but uh, the which one are we uh, talking about? Which, number five. Uh, yeah, number yeah, five. Yeah. Uh huh. Well, we in in our group we said tall. Tall. Okay. Tall fir trees. That's 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 a good one. Yeah. Very mm -hmm. tall fir trees. Number four. Um, that should be Oh yeah, we 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 moved. We moved from number four to number five. Why? Wow, that's my we bad. We kept. We yeah, kept we, number four. We kept it. Yeah, sorry. 
Yeah, but that's good. Tall, that's a good one. So let's go with number four then. Go back to that one. Nobody seemed funny. 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 No, that we cannot say nobody seemed funny because funny is divertido. Uh -huh. Nobody Nadie parecía divertido por sus chistes. Nadie parecía divertido. We don't even say that in Spanish. We say <laughs> nadie parecía divertirse. En todo caso. Divertirse. That's the one. We don't say divertido. Nadie parecía divertido. Mm -hmm. So how do we say divertirse? It's an adjective, teacher. An, an adjective. Yeah, that's, uh -huh. a, that's an adjective. Yeah, that's right. That's, that's, that's good. Your analysis is good, but Funny, the adjective, it, it does not fit in the sentence. Because if we say nobody seemed funny, it doesn't make sense. It's like you're translating literal from Spanish to English. Mm -hmm. So we have to say be funny. Or have fun. How nobody seemed happy. How we find. Remember that we have a lot of more and you are only focusing on fun. fun. We can focus con concentrar, se concentran. You focused you focus only on the funny part. Nobody seemed excited, nobody seemed happy, nobody seemed what else? How fun is the goal. To have fun? Having fun? Having fun? Remember that we're using modifiers or adjectives. In this. Oh, bless Nobody you. Nobody seemed impressed. Nobody seemed impressed. That's a good one. By his mm. jokes. You see? Nadie parecía impresionado, impressed by his jokes. He cracked many jokes, but no one laughed. In this case, what is cracked? He cracked. When we say cracked, that's uh, that's an uh like a slang. It's like when we say él lanzó o tiró o dijo muchos, you know, many jokes. Just Jesus. So in this case. We don't say he said, we use a, uh, a slang. He yeah, he cracked many jokes, but nobody laughed or no one laughed. Right. Left. Okay. So I think that this part of the modifiers is something not difficult to understand. And it's something that we all can use in, it's not difficult to use in a sentence. Nevertheless, if you have any question regarding to that, feel free to ask me, okay? If you're having any trouble in the platform or if you already finished the platform, that's okay. If you're having any situation going on, let me know. One thing that I want to remind you all guys, if you are not coming to the class, let me know because your attendance might be affected, okay? Then uh, apart from that, we are, we're, we're all doing okay, I guess. And well, that's uh, this is our third week, and next week is going to be our last one. So, as I said yesterday, we will start using some slang uh, expressions uh, starting for next week, and then we expect to finish with the last exam on Thursday next week, okay? And that will be pretty much all. So thank you very much, guys, for attending to the class today. I hope you have a nice weekend. Enjoy as much as possible. And we will see us back on Monday next week. Okay? Have a good night, guys. Bye-bye. Good, 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 good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye, guys. Bye.